So now you're going to have to up charge your shirt for 35 40 just to see enough to get you breakfast at McDonald's for a t-shirt, right? So they're charging you a lot of money. And that's why me personally, I got to get up out of there. Growing up, my mom always told me, you're either going to be a part of the problem or part of the solution. So with the way that I move, a lot of what I'm doing is trying to be a part of the solution, trying to be an example of what it should look like and not an example of what the world can do to you, you know, where the world can push you or how bad things are. I want to be an example of how beautiful things can be and how beautiful the world can be. YouTube family, what's good with you guys, man? Look, there's a couple changes that are gonna take place here on this channel. We're gonna discuss all of that in today's video. As some of you may know already, I'm building a clothing brand called Contagious Collection. Now, Contagious Collection is centered around mental health awareness and suicide prevention. Hence, make positivity and self-love contagious. And 10% of all of the profits are gonna to go towards organizations that are creating more awareness around mental health and is also helping with suicide prevention. Now, some of you guys might be coming to this video because you're thinking about building your own brand, your own clothing brand, your own streetwear, whatever that may be. And you're trying to figure out the cheapest way to start up because you got a dollar and a dream and you're trying to figure out all that information in between, right? Try to make everything connect. So I'm gonna tell you about my experience with Printful and why I'm gonna be leaving Printful for the full launch of my clothing brand, Contagious Collection. Now, originally, just like some of you, you may have been researching and figuring this out, and you've seen a lot of creators on YouTube talking about different ways you can start up. And you're like, man, print on demand, it's gonna be butter, I can upload designs, kind of get some feedback on my apparel and different things like that, and I can actually launch this without any money up front, besides just uh, maybe buying a domain, Shopify store, uh, any digitization, like any graphics you need made from any graphic designers, anything like that. Boom, 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 boom. Upload it, go through Printful, and you're good, right? I want to tell you that I'm going to give you the pros and cons, but I don't want to push anybody away from that because for a lot of you, that might be very helpful. It's like it was for me in the beginning. Plus, you probably want to test it out and see if this is something that you really want to do or not. So let's start off here. First thing, Printful is very expensive. And I'm, I didn't try Printify or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure it's not that much different. So for one, the cost for blanks is about 55, 50, 60% more of what you can get them wholesale. Like your basic t-shirt, that's probably not even the best quality. It's probably not a Bella Canvas. I don't think they offer next level, but you're gonna be paying like 10 to $12, maybe a little bit more for just a blank t-shirt, right? And then they're gonna offer you different ways of printing. They offer you a lot of stuff, embroidery, all these different type of you know techniques to actually get the, the product made, but they're gonna charge you for that as well. So at the end of it, it's gonna be like, at the end of it, you're gonna be getting a t-shirt made for $20. And that's not even to include, they're gonna cost you for fulfillment. And which is for a lot of us, you're like, oh, that's awesome. They're gonna do the shipping, the handling, all that stuff for me. They're gonna charge you for that. And, and I'm gonna kind of get into more details of just from based on the research I've been doing, but they're gonna charge you for that as well. So let's say you, you, you get a basic, let's say a basic t-shirt, great basic print, and you're getting this done. It's probably gonna cost you $20. Now Printful is gonna charge you for shipping. And they just said this year that they're going up on shipping. So I wanna say it's like seven, $8 for shipping. So now that brings up to $28. Now, if you're trying to sell a regular, a basic t-shirt, like, you know, like design one, like your bottom, like, you know, the the the, mo the easiest, most affordable shirt on your site, you now you're forced to sell it for at least $30 to see anything, but that's gonna leave you with like a profit of like $2. So now you're gonna have to up charge your shirt for 35, 40, just to see enough to get you breakfast at McDonald's for a t-shirt, right? You're not gonna be making any money off of this. Guys, when I tell you just through research, you can find t-shirts through like, through different vendors for $2, $3, $4, $5 for really great quality stuff. And that's just to get them, right? That's like half of the price of what they're charging you for like a gilded shirt 
on hurtful, right? And through research, I also seen that most of the time shipping, it's gonna probably cost you four dollars, like half the price of what they're charging, about four dollars, guys. You can get a gang of bags, <clears throat> a gang of poly mailers, and do so much more. Like you can have so much more control over your own brand by just doing it all on your own. It might seem daunting in the beginning, like the, the thought of it all, but when you really start crunching the numbers, I promise you, you would rather just pay yourself to do it than to pay somebody else who's gonna charge you double for a lot of these things. Also, Printful does offer a lot of cool things like bomber jackets, pullovers, um, different design hoodies, and you can get very creative with it. But at the same time, man, it also kind of makes you jump the gun. And I'm not talking about people who are trying to build Etsy stores and do niche things. Like if you're doing dad shirts or different things, where you're not actually trying to build a brand, you're just niche selling, then maybe that's something good for you, right? But I'm talking about people who are actually trying to build a brand, literally investing in yourself, invest, like believing in your brand and just going all in with it. You're gonna be able to see that your best return on investment if you just do it in-house. If you guys want, I can really break down, I already have like my spreadsheets, so I can go over the amount of dollars I put in and what I invested those things into so that you can kind of take a look at how much it may cost you to start up. But I promise you that you could really get started about $500. And that's just, and that's actually having a quality brand. Now, the benefits of Printful, I will say that they do offer you a, a, a good variety of different things you can have. Uh, they will take care of all of the the uh, manufacturing of it. You don't have to worry about print. You don't have to worry about straight to gar direct to garment. You don't have to worry about embroidery. You don't have to worry about how they're getting it done. They're going to get it done, and it's going to be really good quality, bar none. You know, but they will charge you different fees and different things for certain things that you might not be aware of. So you might have to sell a couple before you even make any money. You should probably purchase them a couple of yourself just to see. And they actually allow you, if you want, you can send them like like fillers, like thank you cards, stickers and stuff like that, that they'll keep and then put in your packages as well. But that's just, if you wanna do that, you know, you kinda of have to go a little out your way to get that done, but you can literally do it on your own if you just keep it in house. Also, Printful is free to use. It's literally free. Um, the only difference is if, if I was to purchase something from you, that order is gonna go through on Shopify and Shopify is not gonna give you that money yet, right? probably gonna take one to two business days before that's in your account. So, but Printful, in order for you to get that order going, because they're gonna have to fulfill it, they're gonna have to create this, it's print on demand. So it might take three to five days for them to even make the product. Then it's gonna take another probably five, to seven days before your customer receives that. So roughly, it can take about two weeks before your customer receives it. Sometimes even a little bit more if you're doing an all over print hoodie, all over print sweatshirt, or all over print t-shirt. It may take a little bit more time for them to actually fulfill that order before they can even put it in the mail. So now your, your, your customer service is kind of down because your customer has to wait two to three weeks before they receive something, which is in, in the time of Amazon where people can buy something today and get it tomorrow or the next day. People have low, like sh they don't want to wait. They want it right now. They want that's instant gratification. They want their they want it as soon as possible, and they want to pay as little as possible for shipping because Amazon Prime is free. Now, you don't have no subscription service, but you know some people understand. But people actually want free shipping. Printful, you don't really have the option because Printful is going to charge you regardless of what you charge your customers for shipping. So you kind of have to charge your customers for shipping so that you don't have to come out of pocket. So like I said, when they place the order, in order you're you're gonna want to hurry up and want to pay Printful to get that done. So you're gonna need some money in your account to actually get these orders fulfilled as soon as possible. So if somebody put an order in right now and say they order that same shirt, right, for $30. And you don't charge them shipping, but they get charged tax, right? Boom. They're, that, they're gonna, that's gonna give you money right there. Printful's gonna tell you, hey, this order, uh, to start, for us to start fulfillment, it's gonna charge, they're gonna cost you $25, let's say, $25. You're gonna have to pay print for the $25. They're gonna start making an order. They're gonna no notify you that it's being made, blase, blase, and then boom. Now, when Shopify gives you your money, you get the $25 back plus the $5 extra that the customer pays, so your $5 is your profit. Cool for most of us, right? Now, let me tell you something, and I know I'm, I'm telling you some of the qualities, but I'm all, I want you to, to see the other side of it. The other side, you can go to different vendors, like literally online, get a shirt, for at most five dollars, quality shirt, right? That's already five dollars in. You can find a screen printer or heat press 
shop around your local area, which I'm pretty sure, I'm telling you guys, I live in a small town and we have like three options that I can choose from. So you can find it from there and I promise you that you can get a, a basic design done for, le for about $5 or less, you know, depending on the thing. You might get it for $1.50, $2, $3. So at most, you're gonna be 10 to $7 in just on that shirt, right? Now let's say you get a poly mailer. You can get a pack of 100 poly mailers on Amazon for about $15, right? So that's boom. But that for that one shirt, you take that 100, if you have, say, you sell 100 shirts, it's gonna cost you a dollar, right? For that poly mailer. So now you're at from seven to 10 to about eight to $11 on getting it done. Now you're gonna have to pay for shipping, right? Press a crystal order in. If it's local, you can just drop it off to them. If it's somewhere in the States, it's probably gonna cost you, say, I've seen some things be like $350 to like $7. So let's say that, right? Boom. So you're at seven to 11 plus shipping can take you between, let's say, 11 to about 19, right? So just based on that alone, you've already doubled your profit from that. And like I said, that could vary. You might triple your profit. And that right there let me know that man, they're, they're charging you a lot for all the different services they have, plus the labor, because they have the warehouse. They have the product for you. They have the man, the, they have the, the people that can do the labor. They're doing all that stuff, and then they're gonna do the shipping for you. So they're charging you a lot of money. And that's why me personally, I gotta get up out of there. I can't be messing around with it because I'm trying to grow something, and you can't grow something when all your money is going to the person that's developing it, right? This is a bad deal. Now, for you guys thinking of this, right? Me, for example, and I've been doing a lot of research on it, out the World and Vision and a lot of other dope brands that are online giving out free game, right? And I can even, out. matter of fact, I'm gonna link a couple of them in the descriptions. And if you guys want like vendors and stuff like that, I can give you a couple of those as well. But this is what I'm doing. For anybody who's thinking it's gonna be too expensive, it's gonna be too crazy. No, listen, 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 listen. Start off with one thing, because what you really want to do and try to get your brand's message out there. People want to see your brand, know what your brand is, what it stands for, what it represents, all of that. So start off and get you just one design. The Word and Vision team, they said it started off with 12 t-shirts, man. 12 t-shirts and $120. And now they're like, they, they built a, a, a million dollar brand, right? So literally, like me, I'm starting off with 25. 25, that's it, starting off with 25. You know, now I'm getting shirts and shorts because I'm gonna be launching first week of May. So when the weather gets a little warmer, that's how I'm gonna do it. But I'm starting off with 25 guys. And so it's gonna be scarce, but when I get that, when, I, when I'm able to sell that off, I'm gonna be able to get more and still have profit. And that profit will allow me to get more if I wanted to. So I can get two batches and then go from there. But I'm really trying to build this brand awareness. So I don't wanna have a bunch of selections that people gotta choose from. I wanna have one thing, you can purchase this. If you like my brand, you wanna support it, you wanna be a part of the cause, boom. 10% of my profits are gonna be able to go to uh, mental health awareness organizations and suicide prevention. So I'm able to do all these things that I wouldn't be able to do making that $5 off principle. <laughs> $5 is sometimes even a, a push because it might be less than that, I'm just being lenient. Like I said, I might charge 28 for that because of shipping. You might make $2 off of that try to donate that, you're donating like 20 cents. So it's like, hey, nobody's really any, it's, it's not making any type of noise, right? But don't be afraid to start small with what you have. If you have this vision, you have this goal, you have this dream, you can put more into it. Now, me, I've been investing in things around it that allows me to really create something sustainable once I get moving, like filing for your LLC and stuff like that. That's gonna cost you at least 120, I think and stuff like that. So you really gotta take into account a lot of those other things when you're starting up. So when it comes down to it, you might be like, dang, I might, I could've started with more shirts if I wanted to and not got shorts. It would've been cheaper. It's the shorts that kind of cost a little bit more because the quality of the shorts that I'm getting. Cause t-shirts, you can find a dime a dozen, right? Honestly, you really wanna spend more time focusing on marketing and branding and connecting with your customers and trying to build a presence online. So that explains it here. While I'm changing my YouTube channel name to Contagious Collection, from the Kim Banks. If you guys are already here, you guys already know who I am. But the thing is, I'm trying to build something bigger than myself. I'm trying to build a brand that represents something. The same thing that I represent as an individual, I just want to create a community out of it, create a brand out of it, and just really 10x what I can do as an individual. I can grow this, build a team around it, not just off of my own name, 
off my own likeness. I can build it up something that connects with more people on a greater scale. And that's why I'm changing this here. But I'm still gonna do a lot of the same content, personal development, still talking about mental health and things like that. And I'll even still talk about, you know, give tips for introverts and such, because a lot of that stuff is already connected. I'm just maybe talking to a different group doing different things. But I'm also gonna be doing a lot of entrepreneur content and showing the back end of, the, of me building a brand and, and networking and marketing and all the things like that, the whole process. So I really want you guys to be a part of this. Um, like I said, it's already allowable what I've been talking about here already. Now I'm just building something and allowing something else to take the front seat in this journey for me. As you guys already know, like I've already, I, I struggle with I have a, a severe anxiety disorder, right? So I deal with this on a daily basis with so many different things. And I know a lot of you guys deal with these things too, anxiety, depression, um, and just so many different mental illnesses. And that's why it's an important thing for me. And also just, I know people are battling suicide. Like in America, there's more suicides per year than homicides. So more people are killing themselves than people killing people, which is, to some people might be like, oh, that's a no brainer. But to me, it's crazy that people are more willing to take their own lives and people are doing it at a high rate, right? And I just really just wanna be a part of building a world where people love themselves more, love each other more, where there's more positivity, more self-love, more encouragement, more inspiration, more motivation, you know? And growing up, my mom always told me, you either gonna be a part of the problem or part of the solution. So with the way that I move, a lot of what I'm doing is trying to be a part of the solution, trying to be an example of what it should look like and that an example of what the world can do to you, you know, where the world can push you or how bad things are. I wanna be an example of how beautiful things can be and how beautiful the world can be. So a lot of what I'm doing here is for that. But granted, like I said, I create this content here because it's free. Because it's free, it's a hobby. It's something that I enjoy doing. I'm gonna be, I'm posting on TikTok daily, just giving tidbits in the description. You're gonna see my TikTok if you wanna go check that out. YouTube, I'm posting stuff, quotes, different things to lift people up. And with that, in order for me to be able to do that the way that I want to, I'm gonna to have to build a brand around it or build a brand within it, right? And that's what Cont Contagious Collection allows me to do. Build a clothing brand, a passion I have for this, which is a form of art that allows people to express a message and wear a message to be a part of something that, that they resonate with, you know? Because there's a lot of people fighting in silence and they, they feel the same things that you feel and they think the same things that you think, but they don't have anything that represent that. And I want people to be more open about their struggles, about their battles, because it's that it's that isolation that forces people to suicide. It's not being able to talk, not having nobody that you can trust, that forces people to suicide. And I want to have a, a safe place here where we can connect, talk to each other, support each other, lean on each other, and also build a brand around that, that you know that I'm not alone in this, that a lot of people are going through this as well, and it's okay, and that you are loved. And we're gonna to progress together. And I'm gonna be able to, you know, give a lot of advice and tips and help you guys crawl out of that dark place, climb out of that dark place, and into a place that allows you to really understand why you exist, why you're here, and, and that, you know, the world loves you, right? So I'm gonna end this with a quote, right? And this is not verbatim because I don't really know it to that extent, but um, in the meditations by Marcus Aurelius, he says, and again, not verbatim, but, um, he recalls waking up in the morning. He says, birds are chirping. And he doesn't want to do anything. He wants to stay in the bed. And he thinks to himself, am I not a human? Do I not give value? Or do I not have purpose to go work, to go perform something that's best for me and best for the world? Or am I created to lie in the bed in comfort? and not do anything? Or as a man, am I created to add value to the world? Not verbatim, you guys can check it out if you want to. Um, but with that guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. We're gonna keep on going. Um, please share this with anybody that you can. Contagious Collection, we're gonna, be mar we're gonna be launching the first week of May. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything, um, you can write it in the comments, let me know, because we're depending on doing pre-orders as well as a giveaway for that. So make sure you uh, follow the Instagram in the description. With that, peace.